we're diving into Objective 3.4 to compare and contrast storage devices. This is all about where your data lives, from the old spinning platters to lightning fast flash memory. Let's start with the classic hard drives or HDDs. Think of these as a tiny record player. They have spinning magnetic platters or discs and a read-write head on an actuator arm that moves to access data. Their performance is measured by spindle speed and RPM. Common speeds are 5,400, 7,200, or 10,000 revolutions per minute. Faster spinning means faster data access. They come in two main form factors, the larger 3.5 inch size for desktops and the smaller 2.5 inch size for laptops. But the modern standard for speed is the solid state drive or SSD. SSDs have no moving parts. They use non-volatile flash memory, making them incredibly fast, more durable, and quieter than HDDs. SSDs come in a few form factors. You can get them in the traditional 2.5 inch size, which allows them to be a drop-in replacement for older HDDs. For more compact spaces, there's the MSATA Mini SATA standard and the even more common M2 form factor, which looks like a stick of RAM and plugs directly into the motherboard. The real speed difference comes from their communication interface. An SSD in a 2.5 inch form factor typically uses the SATA interface, which is fast, but the real magic happens with NVMe, non-volatile memory express. NVMe SSDs, often in the M2 form factor, can use the PCIe Peripheral Component Interconnect Express bus directly, offering mind-blowing speeds that leave SATA in the dust. Think of SATA as a fast highway and NVMe over PCIe as a dedicated high-speed bullet train for your data. For enterprise environments, you might also see SAS, Serial Attached SCSI Drives known for their reliability and performance in servers. Now what if one drive isn't enough or you're worried about a drive failing? That's where RAID, redundant array of independent disks, comes in. RAID combines multiple physical disks into one logical unit to improve performance or provide redundancy. But remember the most important rule, RAID is not a backup. It protects against drive failure, not accidental deletion, malware, or disaster. Always have a separate backup. Let's quickly review the common RAID levels. RAID 0, striping, is the speed demon. Data is split across at least two drives. It's super fast but has zero redundancy. If one drive fails, all data is lost. RAID 1, mirroring, is all about safety. Data is duplicated exactly onto two drives. If one drive fails, you have a perfect copy on the other. It's highly redundant, but uses only half your total storage space. RAID 5, striping with parity, is a smart compromise. It stripes data across at least three drives and includes a special checksum called parity. This allows you to lose any one drive and rebuild the data. It's a good balance of speed, safety, and storage efficiency. RAID 6, striping with dual parity, is extra safe. It's like RAID 5 but with two sets of parity, so it can withstand the failure of any two drives. It requires at least four disks, and RAID 10, a stripe of mirrors, is the best of both worlds. It mirrors drives into pairs for safety, RAID 1 and then stripes data across those pairs for speed, RAID 0. It requires at least four drives and offers great performance and redundancy, but like RAID 1, it uses half your storage space for the mirror. Finally, let's touch on removable storage. This includes your everyday flash drives or thumb drives and memory cards, like SD or micro SD cards used in cameras and phones. And don't forget legacy optical drives, which use lasers to read data from CDs, DVDs, and Blu-ray discs. So for your A-plus exam, here are the main ideas. HDDs have moving parts and are slower. SSDs use flash memory and are much faster. 
the fastest SSDs use NVMe over a PCIe connection, often in an M2 form factor. RAID combines multiple disks for speed or redundancy. Remember RAID 0 is for speed only, no redundancy. RAID 1 is for redundancy, mirroring. RAID 5 can survive one drive failure, RAID 6 can survive two, and RAID 10 combines the speed of striping with the safety of mirroring. And most importantly, RAID is not a backup. That's our rapid review of storage devices. Thanks for joining us at Tech Vault Academy.